They put Vitamin Gummies. They're trying to get two and one. They're trying to get fucked up and feel better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, hold on, what? <laughs> like, damn, they're contradicting their whole life. <laughs> yeah. we, we got future. That makes it sound like a Neanderthal. Yeah, yeah. Bro, man. A British motherfucker, bro. They did. God bless all the trap niggas. Like, let future be safe. I don't know. It's two or nine. What, what would you do if you had to fuck with one of his beats? I'd murder that motherfucker like a motherfucker, and then I smack his ass right after, bro. I got motherfucking Grammys, dude. I'm looking for. <laughs> <They're> looking for. <laughs> Show me the light. <laughs> yeah. Fuck that nigga, bro. Shit, for real. And Young Thug, why you can't even get? Don't even get me started on that motherfucker. Trash, man. <sighs> Fuck it. Rap music is bullshit nowadays, man. That's just how it is. Uh, that's real shit right there, man. Ain't got nothing good no more, no real shit. Fuck it. I don't know, man. Thinking of this shit, though. <laughs> what the fuck your phone paying for, nigga? <laughs> we in the studio, bitch! <laughs> we in the studio, bitch! Tell me, nigga, who to answer? Cause all I hear from you is panda. I'm chewing you up and I'm spitting you out from the inside like a cancer. You niggas can say that I'm cancerous, but little homie not built like the average. I'm the type to go spit all this savage shit right out the wackest bitch up in immaculate. I'm a real nigga at crunch time, not really with all of these punchlines. It's lunchtime, cause I'm eating and greeting these rappers, I'm eating they duck twice. Like I'm shooting with throat in a Glock 9, but I'm busting this shit with my tongue slime. You a blur, right? I'ma figure that based off the fact you be saying what up, huh? but I'm off that. Thought I was cool, but lying and saying that tuck strap. Buddy bust. Back. Set your auto tune high enough like you ain't got a real nut sack Going mumble, cause the trouble be coming when color come out of the huddle Pump in your bubble, lyrical miracle child approaching you humble Getting too subtle, but I'm very subliminal Killing these minimal criminals out of my hustle I be getting too physical, minuscule rappers ain't literal You a fuck boy, so your lady be following me up on this damn Facebook Knuckle up boy, cause I see you way over there giving a Mr. Hate look You got niggas talking about panda Koala, koala, koala a possum, a possum, Who was your favorite at rapping? Tell me that future be slapping. Homie, he acting. He ain't by action. I'll make the fuck nigga a fraction. Get split like a sectional. Small as a decimal. Tell me you're part of these decibels. Show you how I be wrecking hoes. Little bitch niggas broke. If you want beef, you can bet it, bro. But honestly, this is a new chapter. Cause it's not I'm a chance of disaster. Spitting at rappers. Just another attacker. Such an illiterate crafter. I'm the master. You a redheaded step chop or the unwanted bastard. Too focused on swagger. While I be pissing on y'all, no control of my bladder. It's so nasty. But I give you a check if one of you boys can surpass me. Everlasting. I swear I'm the gob stopper. Y'all are just like me taffy, Willy Wonka Cause you niggas are sweet, you can't step up to a G The 219 got you all begging to come up to get you a piece Never discreet, homie my life on the page The life I lived in the streets You can all boast, but homie we know that your mama about most of what I see Nigga you weak, go to the gym I'm saying just get you out something to eat I see that you hungry, but you ain't fucking with nothing I put on this motherfucking beat Pam Man y'all are trash Rich homie Quan, Young Thug, Post Malone, y'all ain't doing shit but singing like a motherfucking bitch. So what I'ma do right now is let my nigga Enigma show you what the fuck is up. Get him. Pass me the mic, I'm about to go savage and pan. I'm rapping the back of this passion shit like a command. The boss from your leader for radioactive gamma. Energy ribbon beats with an elicit of rhythm, go remedy. Inner city need a rock the moccasins. Dropping them boss and then swallowing holla. Just wanna be dropping them homonyms. Riff with the prank cause I'm fixing the pounce. Niggas only talk about big accounts. We're rapping the raw like the underground. An independent, invisible sense of fucking brother. How could you take us down? Shit, I be marching on niggas like bamboo. Niggas out here selling like the shampoo. All up in my head, think I need shampoo. Sit the fuck down, I can't even stand you. If you're rapping that way. Shit, please get back, bitch, and this or two when I'm killing this trap shit Flow so cold, the froze, the old, so why niggas only get love with the cold go? Gotta be hard if you come to the dojo Me and Vato to one nine, the loco All the ladies are wanting to know, no Go down low and come back like a yo-yo But you gotta be looking like Tojo Wreck rappers up and down like a pogo I got the fucking balls of the beast for sure, though Yo, check the stats, we be rapping to all of your trollers out there who don't know Yo, bro, cut the beat, bro. Cut the cut the beat. Look, 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 man. Let me rap on the track, bro, man. It's my time, nigga. Let me go in. Look, man, I'm coming in. I'm coming in with straight hurricanes, bro. Straight Haiti earthquakes, bro. <laughs> Japan tsunamis, bro. Listen, listen, yo, look, look. I got hoes in Indiana. 
I'm giving them gifts like I'm Santa. I'm sipping the lead with the Phantom. They're screaming their name with their hands up. Ah, shit, I fucked up, bro. But whatever, man. Look, <laughs> let me tell y'all for all y'all niggas listening right now, Enigma 219. What the fuck you know, man? It's 2016, bro. The Midwest taking over. Indie animals all over this motherfucking world, bro. We coming, nigga. Word to Bernie Sanders, bro. Fuck Trump. We out here. Just one thing, dude. What's that? You have to use so many cuss words. Hell yeah, man. It's fucking maniac. TM, no fucks given. Radio blacklist crew, motherfucker. Hell yeah. Fuck. You gonna be okay? I haven't, no said, I haven't said fuck in a long time. Enough is enough. I have had it. When I fuck. I don't have to use the word fuck so consistently. Bring out Jenny! But maybe that she has me getting laid, bro. <laughs> I had a really nice time tonight. Yeah? Uh, did you? Yeah, of course. Uh, the cheesecake was really good. Yeah, I like the cheesecake, too. <laughs> yeah, it was really good. Yeah. Um, But I think I I'm going to go inside. I, I have to get uh, up kind of early tomorrow what? morning. Whoa, whoa, uh, what? Are you serious? After well, yeah, it's just I got to work, and I'm not, I'm not You're sure You're kidding I... me, right? Hey, Are you hey, fucking kidding me? Hey now. I fucking oh, spent no. all that money. You're you just going to go inside? Rowdy. This is bullshit. I mean, I spent all that fucking money. We went to a fucking nice-ass restaurant. I spent fucking $200 on your ass. You gonna leave me out here? Fuck a friend zone. Fuck a fuck a friend zone. Fuck a friend zone. Fuck a fuck a friend zone. Fuck a friend zone. Fuck a fuck a friend zone. Round it up the middle till I reach the fucking end zone. Fuck a friend zone. Fuck a fuck a friend zone. Fuck a friend zone. Fuck a fuck a friend zone. Fuck a friend zone. Fuck a fuck a friend zone. Round it up the middle till I reach the fucking end zone. I call you up and take you to dinner. Damn you so fine, girl. I think you were with her. We have a nice little conversation, no hesitation, but you say it does ain't the right situation. Wait, I'm like, what the fuck, huh? That's not what you were saying when I was tossing my butt. You ain't leaving just yet, you got a dick to suck a And best believe, I'ma get you to fuck. So I make her drop that ass back like a quarterback. Gas yes, ain't y'all penalty, I caught her with the face mask. And she blocked her with the and tight end, with the right bender. Pounded up the middle till I feel a fucking zone end. Fuck a friend zone, fuck a fuck a friend zone. Yeah. Talking the way you walk got me thinking that you want me uh -huh. You don't want me and you don't want him mm. You just want something free yep. Quit with the lies and wasting my time yeah. Don't wanna hear that yeah. shit yeah. You gon' find by the end of the night that yeah. <laughs> you gon' suck <laughs> my dick Fuck a friend zone, fuck a friend zone Fuck a friend zone, fuck a fuck a friend zone Fuck a friend zone, fuck a fuck a friend zone Pound it up the middle till I reach the fucking end zone Take my balls in the mouth, that's a cute And this bitch need money So I sign it to the bitches And I make them a honey Bet you never thought A nerdy nah. little fucker like me Could get a pink and shit To make your heart beat right. Running circles Run that pussy like an athlete In a track beat Sprinting huh. to the finish Busting on your cleat uh. Oh my oh. god oh. Yeah oh. Who's your friend now, bitch? Oh Who's god. your fucking oh friend god. now? Thanks, not even if hell froze over, bitch.
sake I meant it On every word I said I fucking meant it Say it no day All I wanna do is get through today Same shit new day All I wanna do is get through today Same shit new day All I wanna do is get through today Same shit new day All I wanna do is get through today I'm a psycho, I know Look at the way that I flow Going to the way that we Like pissing on some fucking tits, yo Playing with your clit, yo While I slit your wrist, yo Damn right, I'm a motherfucking shit, so You can try on my shoes But I bet that they won't fit, yo Talking shit, yo You'll get your throat slit, yo People go out their way Just to fuck up my day Then wonder why I like to watch the blood spray That's a dumb fucking question Like why do you Dressing, or do I look like I've ever been arrested? Or better yet, do I look like the kind of be tested? Or fucking messed with? Whatever you got to say, I'm not in arrested.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, I apologize. We're having a slight technical difficulty over here. We're getting that fixed, and we'll be live soon. And you won't have to fucking listen to my ass, because this ain't my show, and I ain't one of the hosts. It's fucking versus humanity, my wife, Shell Shell. I think we got Miss Yale and motherfucking Guardian Angel in the house. But we'll be live here in a moment with three chicks, one prick. Yeah, it was Zora Stone.
And it, and hey, what's our guest name? Well, you know what? Hey, hey, we're live on Facebook anyways, guys, right? Getting ready to start this show. I am the Unknown Factor. Fucking no fucks given radio. Hold on, I gotta switch because it's not. We'll be live soon anymore. It's, we're fucking live. Yeah, it was Zora Stone. But, again, this isn't my fucking show. So, um, <laughs> babe, press that button. Humanity, take this shit. Hey, what's up? You are listening to Three Chicks, One Prick on No Fucks Given Radio. My name is Versus Humanity, and I am very excited to be here, I think. Uh, I'm, joined I'm joined by, by two co-hosts, co-hosts today, today, which I'm, I'm really, really excited, excited about, about because uh, it's, it's been, been one, one chick, chick, one prick lately. lately. And, and uh, yeah, yeah, so, so that's, that's great. great. That's, that's going, going to make, make my life, life a lot easier. easier. Um, so, so, as, as always, we've got Shell Shell in the building. Say hi, Shell Shell. What's up, guys? Word. And then uh, we also have Guardian Angel back with us. Where have you been at? Well, last time was just a really unfortunate set of events. We were, if you've ever driven through from Wyoming to South Dakota, you know there's a lot of dead spots, and we happened to hit one. So I missed out on a really great interview. We've been doing music, had a show last night. Now we're here, back at home, and I'm ready to learn about Zora. Ah, well, hell yeah. Shout, Shout out, out to Kimber Haven. Well, hey, hey why, why don't you do us a favor and tell us a little bit about our guest tonight, Jen, if you could, and uh, bring her in and introduce her. Well, I actually was able to have a really nice, it was, it was kind of a brief, but a real nice conversation with her before everyone joined in, before the show got live, and she was actually telling me about going to different award shows and doing work with a really interesting character. I don't know, Zora, if you'd want to start by talking about some of that, you can kind of tell people about what you've been up to. Okay. Hello, everyone. It's Sora. Yay. Okay. Um, <laughs> now that I'm here, um, yeah, we were talking about um, a character that I met at the first award show I went to, which was the AWA award show. It's the Adult Webcam Awards. It was out in Vegas, um, across from the Hard Rock Hotel. It was my first trip to Vegas, my first award show, and I'm a little kind of country bumpkin from Ohio. <laughs> so it was definitely a shock. Well, not so much culture shock because I did get an experience to visit a lot of places when I was a kid um, through my dad, but just, I mean, the air trip, the, the, the flight, I mean, it's, it's, it's Vegas. It's crazy. <laughs> um, I had actually flown, I, I had flown before on a military plane, so I didn't think anything of it. And we get to the airport, and I was flying with the head of my studio, um, since we're both in Ohio. We get on the plane. I'm sitting with my back flat against. You know, the seat, I got my hands holding on to the arm rails for takeoff. We get in takeoff, and, you know, they take the fasten seatbelt sign off, and everybody starts to relax and open up and start, you know, getting their stuff out. And I'm still sitting there with my back against the back of the seat and holding the arm rails with the white face. My boss turns to me, and he goes, are you going to be Okay. And I look at him like, I'll be fine as soon as we land. And he chuckles and he goes, it's a four and a half hour flight. It's like, yeah, I'll be fine when we land. <laughs> oh, no, that's so awful. Did you get a nap in? No, I, I, no, I sat like that the whole entire time. Like literally sat like that the whole entire time up until I had to go to the restroom. And I was dreading that. <laughs> um... 
So no, I looked like, like a little old lady, lady walking down, down the aisle way because I was holding from seat to seat to seat going to. Everybody was staring at me. I didn't even fucking care. I was like, what the fuck ever. That's hilarious. I mean, I have vertigo, and like I said, I've been in a big military plane, and like, dude, we played volleyball in the back, no issues, and then I get on this little plane, and like, my head is and then my brain can't tell which way's up, which way's down, where the fuck we're at. Like, it was just haywire. I was like, okay, get me off this fucking plane. <laughs> you know, Did you I serve just, in the military? Oh, um, no, I was in JROCC in high school, so I got to fly in some of the military planes because I was a little goody two shoe, you know. So I, got uh, <laughs> uh, I was okay, a goody two shoe at that. one point in my life, too. Guardian Angel I, can tell you all about that, but I prefer she doesn't. <laughs> He was a sweet, innocent little boy. You would never know it now, though. <laughs> and then I met you. Yeah, don't, you can't blame that all on me. I used to be a good kid. I was actually a JROTC kid in high school. Yeah, see, it was fun. It actually was fun. I didn't, I didn't intend to join, if I'm being honest. I lost a bet, um, and so I had to join the class. But I ended up staying for two extra semesters because it really was. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, see, I never intended to join, um, but, like, I really didn't like the popular kids, and they were, like, in almost everything, so I needed some other activity other than softball, so I joined JROTC because that's where all the weirdos were. <laughs> you know what? That's, that's how it was at Sturgis High School, too. All the, all the cool kids were secretly in JROTC because they weren't generally seen as cool. <laughs> right. But we got away with everything. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, at my high school, we didn't have ROTC. We had a, a nursery for the uh, uh, moms that were still going to high school and already had babies. Ouch. Yeah. Ouch. Hmm. Wait, how old are you? How old am I? I, am, oh. uh, I, will, I will be 24 in a couple weeks. Oh, that explains it. Never mind. Yes, yes. Born in 1990. <laughs> But that's a little bit about me. If you were going to introduce yourself to a person um, in the industry, obviously, as your adult persona, uh, how would you introduce yourself? How, uh, you know, what would you, how would you, if you had to explain your line of work to a dummy in uh, uh, certain specifics, how would you outline that? Um, generally, okay, I'm pretty blunt, like, seriously, I don't give a fuck, I'm out to the people that matter, so, like, I really don't care, I'll tell people, I bang myself for a living, like, I get paid to masturbate, I get paid for orgasms, it's fucking awesome. You don't love me, it's cool, I love myself. <laughs> you know, I, I mean, fuck, nobody's gonna do it as well as I do. Hey, you might, you might be happy to say something there. <laughs> I mean, but for the most part, I'm a pretty blunt person, so I'm pretty open about it. If people want to get into details, I'll get into details with them. If you want to know that I've got little diaper pal sluts that like to, you know, piss and shit in their diaper for me and, you know, take pictures and send me money for it, I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm, no. Most people don't want to get that detail, though. Well, let's get that detail because that is a fetish that we have to explore on Three Tricks, One Trick. Oh, God, are you serious? Like, I'm kind of like your fetish queen. Like, there isn't a fetish that I really won't participate, except I'm not shitting or pissing on myself. You got me fucked up. You and I are going to get along great. <laughs> we've, just, we've just found the boundaries. <laughs> yeah, that's the boundaries. Pretty much that's about it. Just because, I mean, fuck, life is about experiences, and I want to cram in as many as I can before I bite the dust. So, are you okay with feet, though? Yeah, I don't have a problem with feet, except if if I am gracious enough to meet you, do not, do not come to me with dirty feet, nasty, stinky socks, like, you better have on clean shoes, clean socks, and shit like that, because that's just, oh. that's, that's a respect thing. I've never thought about a female doing foot worship. That puts a whole different spin on it than what a, a story from Elmo Montgomery, who uh, hosts the, what, a freaky fucked up beer hour. Um, <laughs> I mean, I don't necessarily, I don't necessarily do the foot worship. However, I'm going to make you take your shoes and socks off, and I expect it to be clean. That's kind of what I'm saying. 
Like, I mean, I'm a big character, so I can only have hair to be clean, but it's just a respect thing to me. If I'm gracious enough to grace you with my presence, the least you could do is make sure you were clean. I feel like that's fair. I feel like that's fair. I mean, you're getting pretty close and personal. The, the, the basic, most basic respect should be hygiene. Yes. And, I mean, that's just something you do, like, in the industry or if you're going to perform with somebody else or any of those things, you want to make sure that you don't go four or five days without washing or shaving your coochie and then go, you know, meet up with some male talent and get busy. I mean, ew, who does that? (laughs) I'm not sure what I know. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, (laughs) Okay, so... What if somebody showed up to a shoot like that? Like, would you say, no, nah, dude, I'm good? Or, like, would you just do the job? Ugh. <laughs> um. Depends on how much you get paid, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> so, speaking of getting paid, you said something about to the effect of people will send pictures of themselves to you and pay you, which is, yeah. like, the fetish-specific equivalent of paying a girl to look at your dick pics instead of just sending them and hoping for the best. You're open to it as long as they give you some money, right? Yes, as long as they give me money and compensate me for my time, by all means, I will look at your dick pics. Um, I understand that some guys are into it. I understand that apparently it is the new way to say hello. I even understand why guys do it. In, uh, in a man's perfect world, you know, it would be great if women said hello with a boob or vagina picture so that they could just pick them out of, a, like, a catalog. But women don't think that way, so most women have a problem with dick pics. I don't have a problem with dick pics. Just understand, I'm working here. I, I need the money. Up front, and then I'll look at your dick pic. I'll even tell you what I think. I'll post it on Twitter. Like, I will humiliate your little teeny tiny penis if that's what you want. That that was my next question. Was do you give them feedback then? Or? Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. Like what, yeah, like what do they get out of the package? You know what um, I mean. It, for the most part, it's called a public penis rating. If they want it to be private and they request it to be private, but for the most part, these guys want to be humiliated, and most of the time, they're not packing anything more than just like a smidgen. Cool. Like, they got one of those barely bare dicks. Okay. And, like, they want you to make fun of them. It, it gets them off. <sighs> no. <laughs> I am so on I'm the other kidding. side of that. <laughs> I think it's fucking great. Are you kidding me? I have people pay me to sing them the short dick song. It's like, fuck yeah, I'm happy. They're happy. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Whatever works. Okay. Uh, right? The short dick song. I, I have to ask that. I'm not... Oh, I don't think I know the short dick song. Okay, so it's from the 90s. And it goes, I don't want no itty bitty teeny weeny shriveled little short dick man. <laughs> what is that thing? Your belly button? Do you need some tweezers to put that thing away? It, it goes on and on and on, and basically they're just making fun of men with little dicks. <laughs> too good. Okay, so you, you, you said that you understand why guys send dick pics. As a guy that doesn't send dick pics, and I think Thatcher can sympathize with me on that, from your point of view, can, or do you send dick pics, Thatcher? I, 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 I mean, I bro, if my one. wife wants one, totally, I got her, you know, but short of that, no. I mean, before before you were married, would you send dick pics? I mean, if the technology was around, I know you're fucking ancient, but... Fuck you, <laughs> asshole. Um, if requested... <laughs> But, I mean, I didn't just fucking, I was never the Yeah, but not as, like, a hello, not as, like, a greeting. No, that's really, really weird, and like I don't tenor. understand it. But, but that is the thing, though. Some guys really do do that. They'll send you a dick pic, and then be like, hey, baby, you like what you see? Hit me up. And you've never heard, heard from them, or you've never seen them in any event or gathering or social media. Uh, yeah. Guys do that. Or wait, because of the invention of Snapchat, now you have free Snapchats and paid Snapchats, right? So I have a free Snapchat. It's always maxed out. And I get probably about 90 to 100 dick pics on a daily basis. No hi, no hello, just their fucking penis. 
That's but our question for you is why. You said you understand why. Guys. Oh, why? why? Okay, because why? If, you go into a, if you go into a man's mindset, okay, in their idea of a perfect world, it would be perfect if women would greet them with a naked picture of their tip or a naked picture of their pussy. Like, that's awesome to a guy. I got your tip. I got your pussy. Shit, I know what I'm working with. But women's minds don't work the same way. And um, for the most part, women really don't fucking care what you have in your pants. Like, honestly, they really don't. If they got to make do, they'll make do. You got a tongue, you got fingers, they don't really care. But guys kind of care whether or not you got a padded bra on or whether or not, you know, your shit's nasty, you know? Yeah, you have to be first. Yeah, of course. But, you know, in a man's perfect world, that would be great if women greeted them like that. In a woman's perfect world, no. Like, honestly, we really don't even care until after, like, the fifth or sixth conversation what you even really look like. I will say, most women, because you do have, you know, superficial bitches out there the same as you got bitches like me and every other Joe Blow female. Yeah. But, I mean, I get it. I mean, y'all aren't trying to be rude when they send dick pictures. They're trying to be nice. They're trying to say, here's my dick, let's go. You know, because that's what they want. So they're just trying to give us what they want. That makes sense. I guess I've never thought of it from that perspective. See, but I guess I wouldn't, I wouldn't go as far as to say as, like, because not all guys, which I wonder what the personality difference is. I guess, it's between not that, the guys that, that send the dick pics and those that just don't, I guess. Because, like, my husband, for example, the only time he's ever sent a dick pic was to everybody in his phone was because he was drinking. And there was a <laughs> person <laughs> on it. Right. You know what I mean? Honest, I don't think it's a personality thing. I think it's an age thing. I honestly don't get dick pics from guys over the age of 40. Like, they don't do that. You know what I'm saying? I think it's just the difference since technology has spread and it's gotten so widespread. We're just so used to seeing all this stuff everywhere. You don't even think twice about it. Like, I mean, if you think about my parents or my grandparents, if they heard of people sending nude photos to each other, they would be horrified by that <laughs> But to us, so it's normal. Yeah. So my next question is for Guardian Angel, actually. So how many tattoos does half dead have on his dick? I feel like this is appropriate for him to have this. On no, his dick? No, no. No, there's none, none on his dick. No. None? Zero. No. No. How about Are you crazy? Right? No. Like, no. Really? Dude, I thought really? he'd be the guy. No, but you know what? I will tell you, uh, the place that I got my first tattoo, and it no longer exists, it was in Surfer, South Dakota, but I went back in to get some tattoo goo, and the guys that were working there told me, that I just missed the, the greatest thing ever. They've been sitting there talking to each other, and no one had seen or witnessed or knew of anyone that had a tattoo on their dick. And none of them had been stupid enough to do it yet, so they decided that they were going to wager each other, and one guy volunteered, and they bet him a case of beer that he wouldn't, and he did. He tattooed the head of his own penis with a smiley face with devil horns, and his girlfriend was pissed because there's no sex for six weeks after that. The head, the head, of, they videotaped it, too. There's, there's evidence of this. All I got out of it was a case of beer. <laughs> oh, my. Was it a case of good beer, at least? No, I'm pretty certain it was just, like, domestic, probably, like, Bud Light. Oh, dude. <laughs> that was yeah. really sad. Have, I seen or have you seen Tic Tacs with tattoos on them? Yeah, I've seen a lot of crazy dick pics, man. I was just going to say, though, you see, that's the difference between men and women, because if that would have been a woman, she would have been getting fucking paid off of that. <laughs> yeah, there's no way. <laughs> I would have put myself through that kind of pain for a case of beer. Yeah, I don't think it would hurt that bad to get a pussy tattoo, to be honest. I'm, I'm too chicken to, to try it, you know? No needles near my nipples or my pussy. There's just... I've had, I've had Wait, a lot of you, things. Gardy, okay, now, dude, I have a lot of assumptions. So I, I assume you had your nipples pierced, Guardian Angel. Fuck no. 
Really? No way. Yeah, no, really. I've got my chest tattooed, but the, the where the ink ends is as close as I'm getting to my nipples. It's oh, I thought, I thought you just went all out after the chest tattoo. I oh, thought they had tattoos and nipples. I didn't have nipples. <laughs> You know, I was you just got, crazy. You got a chest tattoo and get, and get nipple tat, get nipple piercings. Like I promise you, that hurt less. <laughs> I, not only do I have a chest piece, but it has been gone over a couple times. And the last time, it was perfect. And then I cuddled a kitten, and it's all riddled with scars. It's like I screwed it all up, so I have to go back over it again. I might have chosen the wrong choice, but too late. No, <laughs> I've had my tongue pierced twice. I've had my nipples pierced three times. I've had my clip pierced. I've had my lip pierced. Mm, I've had my septum pierced. My tongue pierced. My nose pierced. And I'll tell you, the one that hurt the worst was the fucking nose, man. I'd rather go have my clip pierced again than have my nose pierced. Really? Really? Yeah. Dude, when you get your clip pierced, it really just feels like somebody soccer punched you really quick on the clip. Like, it's done over with. It doesn't hurt afterwards. Because yeah, I actually had a friend tell me that she almost came when she got her clip pierced. Well, she might be a little crazy, but no. <laughs> <laughs> so, will you tell us the full story of getting your clip pierced and leading up to that and why and how and... Yeah, you know, I'm okay. sure there's a good story here. There's got to okay. be. Okay. Originally, I was going to get my clip pierced as a, you know, recommitment to my husband at the time. And I chickened out at the last minute, and I got, like, his name tattooed on my arm, which I've since had covered. But I finally, it took me two years after that to work up the nerve to go ahead and get my clip pierced. And I went with my husband, who I was still with, because he wanted to get a tattoo. And we didn't have a car, so it was about a mile and a half walk, so we walked up there. We get up there, my husband starts looking around, and he goes, so which one of y'all wants to pierce my wife's clip? <laughs> and they all go in a circle, and they're, like, talking amongst themselves. And another guy comes down, he goes, I'll do it. He goes, okay, I'm going to go get a tattoo in the other room for you. I was like, okay. <laughs> So he went in one room to get a tattoo, and I went in the other room with the other guy to get my clip pierced. And he's like, he takes a big, huge metal cone out, and I'm like, okay, maybe I don't want to fucking do this. Like, what do you do with that? And he's like, okay, so here's this piece of flesh that's above your clip, and I'm going to stick this metal rod up inside of it. And I'm like, huh? Oh, dear God. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, don't worry, I'm going to lube it up first. I'm like, yeah, inside my mind, I'm going, I'm pretty sure shit's not supposed to go in there. They're not. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but it's the metal guideline for the hook, for the needle. The needle looks more like a fishing hook, and he pulls it out, and I'm like, shit, do I really want to do this? I'm like, come on, you can do it. Two years, two years. So I'm just looking up. He's like, I need you to breathe. I'm like, I am breathing. I've done this before. He goes, Okay. And he goes, now you're going to feel a little pinch. And I'm like, ugh. And that was it. And he's like, okay, now I'm going to stick the jewelry. And I'm like, oh, cool. Takes it in. He goes, okay, I'm going to pull this out. I'm like, okay, pulls it out. And he goes, okay, we're good to go. Screw the ball on. I had to wait another 20 minutes for my husband to finish his tattoo. And then we decided to go ahead and walk home. That was the mistake. Uh, yeah, I was going to see how was that walk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that walk was something else. But to be honest, the reason it was a mistake is because he didn't screw the ball on tight enough. Like, you know, he wasn't trying to pinch my flesh. He was trying to be all gentle, I guess, because my husband kind of looks like a serial killer. So he's probably a little weirded out. Um, and we get home, and I got to go pee. And I really don't want to go pee, but I'm like, fuck, I got to go. So I go to the restroom, I go pee, well, I go to pull my pants down, and I hear clunk clunk. And I'm like, you got to be fucking kidding me. Because I knew what that sound was. It was metal hitting porcelain. I was like, you got to be fucking kidding me. I get up, I look in the toilet, no shit, there's my clip ring. Oh, no. I was so pissed off, so I get a plastic glove out, reach down to the toilet, pull it off, call my husband up. I'm like, look, you got to find the ball, and you got to look at my vagina. I'm laying back on the bed, my legs are in the air, and he's trying to part my lips, trying to find out where the ball went. It's stuck to the side of one of my lips. 
down the ball, I'll call the fucking tattoo shop. I'm like, look, if I run back up there, can y'all pop this back in? He goes, um, no. And I'm like, what do you mean no? It just popped out. Can you get screwed on tight enough? He goes, no, you've got to wait for it to heal back up, and then you've got to get it re-pierced. I said, the oh, my God, oh, you. Yeah, he goes, we'll re-pierce it for you for free. I said, no, nah, fuck that. You can keep it. He goes, what do you mean you can keep it? I was like, dude, it took me two years to work up the nerve to get this pierced, and it fell out in less than 24 hours. That's God telling me I'm a dumbass. I ain't doing it again. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Hey, wait. Uh, wait. 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 Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. That just happened, Packer. Oh, well, no, that's fine. I don't give a shit about anything besides the fact that why did you just say, oh, my gosh? Because <laughs> I'm living with fucking Mormon. <laughs> All right. Like, fine. I'll give you a pass on that. It just reminded me of fucking the Looney Twins being like, forget, I mean fucking, and unediting themselves. And I was like, why the fuck is humanity? But proceed, my bad. Uh, I've, just been, I've, been, I've been watching this shit lately, sorry. The only place I edit myself is at my vanilla shop, and I have to. Other than that, yeah. I got the worst mouth you probably ever heard. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, you know, though, they say they say that people that curse on the regular have lower blood pressure than others. Something Dude, about true. saying My curse words helps to... <laughs> I, don't know. I just never, I never put much stock into words, you know? People use them and abuse them and, you know, fuck all that. You don't put much meaning into words and, you know, you don't get offended or upset or become one of these pussy motherfuckers rolling around right about now. <laughs> my other thing, words like fuck are the most words like fuck are the most acrobatic words in, in uh, our language. We can right. anything. So many fucking ways to use fuck. I actually had a contest <laughs> once. Fuck is like my family's favorite word. That's awesome. It's definitely interesting at our um, family occasions. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I understand. My mom always gets pissed at me. I don't need to keep on jumping in, but for real, she does. She's like, watch your fucking language. Um, well, she doesn't say fucking. I just say fucking because I don't know how to edit myself. You can't even edit yourself when you're quoting your mother? <laughs> like, you, you realize what you just said. You're like, my mother says watch your fucking language. Yeah? Like, I have to her, that's fucking exactly what you mean. Is that okay? <laughs> no, like, she's like, no, look, like Guardian Angel said, man, that is the most versatile word in the fucking human it language. It really is. It really you can is. use it as anything. Yeah, but you know what? You still have older society that's still around, and you still got another 40 more years before all those people that die out that have a problem with cuss words. And trust me, I tried to rectify the situation. I got three kids, and when they were younger, we decided to go ahead and let them cut. We decided we would use reverse psychology. We would make cuss words mean nothing. So they were allowed to cuss. And it worked until they got to the point where they would start to go into their grandma's house. And then any time they would say a cuss word, grandma would make a big deal about it. So then a couple years go by and the kids finally catch on to the fact that, you know, they're allowed to say words that other kids are not allowed to say. Now, then we had to start implementing rules so they weren't allowed to cuss around other children because we had to respect other parents' parenting choices. So they wouldn't cuss around their grandparents or cuss around other kids, but then they still got to the point where they would abuse it because they knew they were getting privileges nobody else got. So then every other word out their mouth is a fucking cuss word on purpose. So then we had to do the no cussing thing. Yeah, and that's what kind of an interesting approach, too. <laughs> what would I look at it? The way that I looked at it is when I was a kid, I wasn't allowed to cuss. That certainly did not stop me. The only thing it did is it made sure when I wasn't around my parents, I had the worst sailor mouth ever. Like, I wasn't even in high school, and I was swearing worse and more perverted than adults were. And that was before everybody was perverted in grade school, like it is now. Yeah, so, it's it, it, it's really strange now. Kids are saying some stuff earlier than... I would ever have imagined it. But I know when I was a kid, I wasn't allowed to curse. And I, I was that, oh, yeah. that good girl that really actually didn't. So when I did start cursing, my friends actually made fun of me because I, the words just sounded ridiculous coming out of my mouth. 
I can see that. Yeah. <laughs> I can totally see that. You're probably like, bitch! Well, it'd be like the equivalent of a middle-aged woman singing, Go, Shoei, it is your birthday. <laughs> we are going to party like it is your birthday. <laughs> Yeah, and, yeah, I mean, you're not kidding about kids nowadays. Like, I'll tell you what, I had to get real with my language real quick so I could stay on the level that I could relate to my kids. I walked in the room one time, and I heard them talking about F and M. What? And they weren't talking, they, they weren't talking about it appropriately either. They didn't know what either one of the words meant, and they were just going what their one friend told their one friend that told their other friend. So I walked in the room and I said, okay. I really don't want to <laughs> Yeah, but we're going to have this conversation. Because there's one thing you're not going to be, and that's going to be uneducated, ignorant assholes out there spreading a bunch of garbage. Yep. So I had to sit down with a 16-year-old and a 14-year-old and explain to them what F and M was. Thank you, Rihanna. Thank you, Rihanna. <laughs> that's what that started. It was from that stupid fucking song. Well, was no. a reaction to that. I knew that was going to come up, too. That's awesome. But, yeah, what was their reaction to, uh, to your little explanation? They're kind of used to it. They get a little uncomfortable, but they're kind of used to it. When I say that I'm blunt, I talk to my children the same way I'm talking to you, because nowadays you have to. So do your children know what you, what you oh, do? Yeah. My children, yes, my children know exactly what I do for a living. They know when I went to award shows. Um, my son has a Facebook account. I recently, back in June, came out to my Facebook about what I do for a living. Um, before that, I kept my identity separate like most people in the industry do. But honestly, I get tired of hiding something that I don't feel we should have to hide. Just because we're more sexually open or sexually honest, you know, the way society views it, we have to live double life. No, fuck that. I'm good. The only thing that I was concerned with is how it would negatively impact my children. Um, so at first, I hid it from my kids what I was doing, and, you know, mommy did modeling. They didn't know what time. Um, you know, I did bondage. I did rigging, because that's a code word for bondage. Um, things like that. But eventually, my kids are not stupid. They picked up on things, like all of a sudden they couldn't look over mommy's shoulder when she's searching through her pictures to find stuff. Things like that they picked up on and put two plus two. So we had a conversation about it. My oldest is 17, he'll be 18 in a couple months. Um, my youngest is about maybe 15. So they're a little bit older, we sat down, we discussed all the things, and they don't care. It's legal. They don't have a problem with it. They don't feel any differently towards me. And they were okay with it. Then I decided to come out. And that's what I did not. Yeah, my kids are My family is for the most part. I mean, I don't go tell my grandma what I do, but, I mean, grandma. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Huh? yeah, I remember my, my grandmother told me that when she was younger, they never even used to call each other hot. That was crossing the line. So I can't imagine... Having, having a conversation, conversation like, like that with my grandmother. That's, that's an amazing, amazing, amazing ability, ability, though, to be able to have that kind of relationship with your kids. And, and I think that it's really cool that instead of waiting for them to find out and then, you know, from everybody else and then confronting you about it, there's no level of distrust there. You know, they, it was direct. And, I mean, it's to the point, my kids are pretty open and honest with me. Um, and because of the way I am, I've opened up that path. I have to curb myself a lot because there's times that I want to snap the fuck off at them like I'm crazy. Because let me tell you, when my son told me he wasn't a virgin anymore and he thought he needed to have an STD test because he had a bath. Um, yeah. And then I had to go and ask all these uncomfortable questions. Um no, no, I think, I think the, the worst, worst one was is um, he got busted, busted with pornography on his school computer, computer and, and my kids are in private Catholic school, so they have an honor code. code. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he got busted with porn, and he got busted by his grandmother with porn. And it was actually one of those trick links where it looks like you're clicking on something and then porn pops on your screen. That one Wait, he got busted by his grandmother, but the school got involved? Well, no, oh. it's on the school computer. We caught it before oh. the school got involved. Oh. Um, but they originally lived with their grandma for a time, and then I moved in, and we live together now. 
Um, but he, he got, got busted, busted by, by grandma. grandma. That's, That's who busted, busted him with the porn. porn. And, and she got to have a conversation with me before I did, and she's more old-fashioned, so, oh, my God, that's disgusting. You can't look at naked women. That's disgusting, blah, 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 blah. So I had to have a conversation with my mother and with my son. So I went and had a conversation with my mother, and I told her, you can't say those things to him. There is nothing wrong with him masturbating. There is nothing wrong with him looking at pornography. You cannot tell him that that's disgusting. That is his body, and I don't want my children to have that kind of shame. Just can't do it on the Catholic school computer. Yeah. <laughs> like a conversation that needs to be chased with a shot. Right? And I go to my son, I was like, look, I know you don't want to have this conversation, and you know I don't want to have this conversation. I said, but we've got to have it, so we're going to make it quick. We're going to agree to a couple things, and we'll never have to talk about this again. He goes, okay, okay, so you got busted with porn on your school computer. He goes, yeah. I said, okay. So there's nothing wrong with watching pornography. There is nothing wrong if you have feelings when you're watching pornography. There's nothing wrong if you want to touch yourself because of those feelings while you're watching pornography. Please put a sock on the door. Don't do it in the bathroom. Do not put pornography on your school computer. <laughs> and if you happen to click on any website that say Zora Stone, you are to immediately click the X. He goes, okay, Mom, this is really uncomfortable. I was like, I know. I said, and as long as you follow those rules, we never have to have this conversation again. He goes, agreed. I said, okay. But hey, I love that you laid down the line of, this is where you'll find me. Don't go here. <laughs> but at the same time. But no, at the same I'm time. everywhere, and you can't control that. Once you become out and you no longer try to control how big you spread, I mean, it just goes everywhere. There's no control over that. But, yeah, every time I get on a new site, me and him have a rule. I write down the site, and he avoids it. So right now he's safe on Pornhub. <laughs> <laughs> right now. As of right now. I told you it's easier to stay away from the Z categories or the MILF categories, and you're good to go. But you know, but you know, if he's got it a fucking foot so job good. fetish, if he's got a fucking foot job fetish, you can totally go with that one, ladies and gentlemen. And this is right. Foot Jobs by Elmo415. We'll be right back. Three shakes, one prick. He said, We're still live on Facebook, guys. Okay. I love you. You just played foot jobs. <laughs> Goddamn right. Look, look, ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you right now. Um, foot jobs, I can't wait. Lando saying my audio sounds odd. I don't like that. We'll go check it on No Fucks Given Radio, radio for Lando. Lando saying my audio sounds odd. So we're gonna we're gonna do something real quick and just check this shit. So if you get a weird double feedback, I apologize. I mean, you sound good in my phone. Oh, yeah. Lando ain't lying. Yeah, Lando ain't lying, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, let's fix that right quick. Yeah. But, uh, we'll be right back. Facebook Live, ladies and gentlemen. Go check out NoFucksGivenRadio.com. Listen to Foot Jobs by Elma415.
Your fuck. wife Look, and her this, show. Hey, hey, this is no fuck skipping radio. Facebook Live. Yeah. We're live. We're live. Do we sound good? Yeah. Let me know. Did I fix that issue? Here, I'm going to check it my goddamn self. Did Cameron I fix it? Cameron needs to be told how sexy he is, too. How sexy his voice sounds. So everybody should probably get up on that. Somebody tell me how sexy my voice is, please. You sound like <laughs> shit, homie. Guardian Angel is totally right. Do I sound good now? You sound terrible. Okay, cool. You just kind of perpetually sound, sound terrible, terrible, though. It's, it's just, just sort, sort of your, your way, way of things, things so. so... Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying to, to check, check this, this fucking sound, sound for y'all. Let, let me, let me know, know if you hear it, because my phone. Fu- oh, I see. I do. I, do. I, I fucking, fucking sound, sound robot. Not working. Well, well no, no, it's, it's just, just being, being kind of cunty. cunty. I've got, I've got an, an idea, idea though. though. I think, I think that right there should, should probably do it. Do it. Let's, let's let's double, double check, check that, that real quick. quick. Oh, wait, oh, wait a, a sec. sec. I'm just seeing how fast I can suck down this bowl before we get to the fucking <laughs> show. <laughs> All right. So, well, I'm me. just trying to make sure we get this fucking issue fixed. I got an idea what it is. I think I might have corrected it. Come on, you cock sm- I hate, like, it's annoying because it takes, like, there's a fucking delay, so I gotta let the delay run, and then, and then, it is. Well, I don't hear the reverb on your voice anymore, if that matters. You don't? That's good. <coughs> yeah, everything sounds good for my end. Well, I gotta make sure it sounds good on the Facebook Live. Everybody's out there listening like, fuck you, Factor. <laughs> All right. There's a note to self. I swear to God, we keep adding shit and then fucking doing this and fucking, hey, humanity, take this shit live right now. Hey, 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 we're back. I don't know what song that just played because Factor didn't tell me and I don't hear it. It was mine. Mind. It was Little Trip. <laughs> By the unknown factor, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Anyway, that was that song, but this is Three Chicks, One Prick. I'm versus Humanity, and I'm here with Shell Shell, who's going to say her obligated second part of the show. Say hi, Shell Shell. What's up? Weird. Yeah, she doesn't talk much, but it's okay, because she makes everything else on this show work, so, except for the stuff that Factor makes work, so I'm happy about it. Um, and then, of course, back with us. Uh, after a, a very missed long absence, I'm stoned. But Guardian Angel, what's up? <laughs> hey, everybody. And then, of course, Nora, our guest, Nora. Um, why don't you uh, do us a favor? Tell us uh, where we can find you real quick. Uh, drop some links. Uh, you know, where why don't can we you buy do us a favor and get her fucking name right? Social media. Hey. All right. Hey, wait, so you hear obviously, me? Hear me? I always take direct payment. You can directly pay me, um, gift cards, um, tribute, pretty much empty your whole wallet at model.zorastone at gmail.com. You can follow me on Twitter. That's where I post contests, links, updates, when I have new material, what I'm doing, yada, yada. That's Zora underscore stone. And Zora is spelled Z-O-R-A. And then if you want to see a live show, I am on cams.com. It's cams.com backslash R-E-G backslash Zora, Z-O-R-A underscore squirt, S-Q-U-I-R-T-S. And then on Chatterbait, you can find me at chatterbait.com backslash P backslash goddess Zora. If you'd like to buy videos, you can get one on Minivids, and that's guyszora.minivids.com. If you'd like to book a Skype show, you can directly message me on Twitter, or you can send me an email. And I have a co-ran Snapchat. It's called Ebony and Ivory. It is free. It is Zora Free 2 as a username, and it's only $30 to upgrade to the nude VIP. 
I'm out everywhere you can spend money on me. Mm-hmm. And just an awesome, FYI, awesome. I saw in the comments today that people said that she has some of the best stuff out there, so. Mm. Thank you, thank you. I said I saw that. That she was stalking a- me on Twitter. I was. I might have. I might have been stalking you a little bit on Twitter today, potentially. <laughs> did, did, did you touch your? Did you touch yourself while you stalked me? No. <sighs> Guests this weekend. <clears throat> the, the whole house, man. There's no privacy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You got to get with the toilet game, man. Get with the toilet game. <laughs> toilet <laughs> game. Get- Will you elaborate? Oh no, I get it now. Never mind. Um. <laughs> no, actually, it is. There is kind of a toilet game. I don't know if y'all can pick it out or not. Most models can pick it out. They don't exactly tell it to fans, but any model that has a Snapchat, if it's before noon, chances are half of those snaps is while she's sitting on the toilet in the morning. Just so y'all know. <laughs> that is hysterical. <laughs> That's why they're all close up, so you can't see they're on the toilet. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm milky. That's multitasking. Fuck yeah, it is. What else are you going to do while you're sitting there waiting for business to happen? <laughs> <laughs> multitasking at its finest. Well, uh, during the break, didn't you have a didn't you have a question you were going to ask, Zora? I did. I did. It's always interesting, um, I think, to hear about the places that people have been, specifically like when you've been able to travel a lot. And Zora and I were able to talk a little bit before everyone had joined in at the beginning, and she said that she'd traveled quite a bit. And so I was wondering where the most fascinating or fun or exotic place that you'd been to, what's the coolest place that you've ever been to? To be honest, I don't know. As far as coolest goes, I I don't know. Um, Miami was pretty cool, but at the same time, it was, like, the worst trip ever. But it was still probably, like, the coolest place. Like, we partied at the Versace Mansion. Um, I got kicked out of the boys' restroom at the Versace Mansion. Um, <laughs> you, okay, there's a story there. There's got it. You got kicked yeah, out of the boys' yeah. restroom <laughs> at the Versace, <laughs> at the Versace Mansion. mansion. It was kind of a nightmare kind of trip. Like, we got there, and there were some issues with our hotel. The reservation had been lost, blah, blah, blah. They said they had parking. They do have parking, but you're not allowed to use the parking. You have to pay the valet person to use the parking because you're not qualified to park in a parking garage. (laughs) Um, So there were a lot of added expenses right off the bat. So as soon as we got over to the event, we drove in on the same day. And I drove from Ohio, so my total trip was 18 and a half hours to get to Miami. Oh, wow. So I was ready to go by the time we got there because we straight drove. We didn't stop at a hotel and sleep, anything like that. I picked up other models along the way, and we took shifts driving. I Um, made trips like that. That's hardcore. Yes. (laughs) Um, But it's a good way to split costs at some of those events. And we got down there. We ran into issues at the hotel. The place that we parked at or rented is just like in a horrible little strip of a road. (laughs) It's horrible to navigate. Um, We decided to drive because we thought that would be so smart, right? So we drive over to the event hotel and realize that they have free parking as well. But once again, you have to pay the valet driver $25 to park your car. So we're like, okay, is there anywhere free or, like, public parking? Oh, public parking garage right down there, free. We get down there. We see this lot. looks like the garage. We pull in. They go, no, it's not the lot. It's right across the street over there. And we're like, and it's free, right? And they're like, yeah, it's free. We pull in. We park into the very first level, very first spot we see. And there's a little sign that says that if you're a club member, you could prepay at the end of the exit. So we go to the end of the exit, and there's nothing about paying for anything. So we're like, okay, we'll look more in depth when we get there, when we get back. We go over to the first part, which is, you know, drinks, and they got little Calvin Klein models and little sucking thongs serving us drinks, and we're all pruning and like, yeah. And all the girls are kind of gossiping and doing what girls do, and one of the Calvin Klein models is like, well, who wants to do sh- shots out my bot in my belly who wants to do body shots i'm like are you for real he's like yeah i was like well fuck yeah 
And he's like, okay, let's clear the table. Nobody else is paying attention. I start just throwing glasses everywhere. Girls are turning around. What are you doing? I was like, get the table cleared off. Get the table cleared off. So we got like six girls clearing off the table. He lays down and they're like, what's going on? I'm like, Barry suck alcohol out of his belly. <laughs> well, they got there's a good I don't know 15 20 girls standing around me I am doing shots out of this man's belly button and they all have camera phones taking pictures not a phone in my hand I'm just sucking alcohol I'm like fuck yeah um, party with your rock star fingers I got pictures of me sticking my tongue out at people there's pictures of me putting my hands behind my back doing the you know, look mom no hands <laughs> um, and all these girls are just staring, and then nobody else does body shots. I'm like, well, fuck, I was trying to kick things off, right? So we got about an hour between the next event, so we're going back to the car to smoke a blunt and um, yeah. <laughs> grab an outfit and change clothes, right? We're walking. The two models that I'm with are gab, 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 and this is their first time at the event, and there's, like, you know, little Ohio girls, so they're, you know, freaking out a little bit, and sticker shock and they're gabbing 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 i look ahead and i see no car like what the fuck there's no no car so i just stop in my tracks these girls are still talking and gabbing and still walking i just sit down right in the middle of the damn driveway and just sit down i'm like i'm done i'm fucking done and they turn around and they go what's wrong and i'm like do you two twits not see that there's no car there? And they turn to look and they're like, where's the car? Well, where the fuck do you think the car is? One of two things happened. Either somebody towed it or somebody stole it. <laughs> Either way, the car is gone. So then we go look at the sign. Apparently, we were supposed to pay, too. It wasn't just club players. Club players had a different price than we did. We didn't know that. We got for a scam. We called the company. It's been 10 minutes since they towed it. They towed it four blocks and charged us $400. Oh, stole four, wait, wait, stole four blunts out the fucking glove box. Didn't take all of it, just took four blunts and then stole gas out the tank. No shit. What? Yeah. <laughs> you should just put all of these experiences into a book. Call it Memoirs of a Webcam Model. Source. Really? Yeah, that That's was ridiculous. the first day. So we drove the car back to the tow lot. I was so pissed off. We smoked a blunt, sat right there. I didn't even fucking care. Just smoked a blunt. Walked back over to the event hotel, told them what happened. They're like, oh, we feel so bad for you. I'm like, yeah, we just wanted you all to know because it's apparently a tourist scam. Somebody called them and told them we parked there without paying. They, car- they towed the car within 30 minutes of it being there. There's no way you knew it was there. So we got tourist scan. We come back over. A couple of the girls felt bad for me. There was this one chick named Mischievous Kitty, and I don't know how many drinks she bought me, but she just kept on buying drinks for me. I've never had Fireball in my life. (laughs) I had about six or seven Fireballs, three or four Pina Coladas. The next thing I know, the girls realize we're in Florida and titties start coming out. And this girl pops her big ass tits out, and she's got barbells. And I'm just like, uh huh. Like, I'm so far intoxicated, I can't even curb my reactions. My jaw just opens up, and I'm just like, uh huh. Tit right next to my mouth. I'm like, can I lick on your titty? She <laughs> would think about it. And she's like, sure, just let me get Snapchat out. <laughs> So she put it on Snapchat, so I ended up making out with her and making out with, like, four or five other girls that I couldn't remember until later that I made out with. Um, You know, it was pretty much a drunken mess for the next couple days, and then we go to the award show, and they decide that they're having the award show at um, the Versace Mansion last minute. I'm like, well, cool. So, you know, we're in South Beach. We go over to the Versace Mansion. We're there an hour early. I don't know if you guys have ever been to Miami, but the Mm -hmm. heat is unbearable. Like, you jump in the swim pool and the water's piss warm. You get into the shower and turn all the cold water on, and it's piss warm. Like, there's no cold water in Miami. Oh, wow. They they can't bury the pipes low enough. 
for them to be cool. I never thought yeah. about being low on cold water. Right? Believe me, you think yeah. about it real quick, and then every chick down there is having hair issues because nobody counted for the humidity. Yeah, and that's I don't what know, I was like, expecting. The, yeah, the humidity was a nightmare. The first day I tried to style my hair, and then after that, I just wa- rocked the white girl afro. And everybody's like, oh, your hair's so fabulous. How did you get it to do that? I said, honey, <laughs> I have just decided to let my hair do whatever the fuck it wants to do. We'll fix it when we get out of Miami. <laughs> I don't have a choice in the matter anyway. <laughs> right? Um, so, yeah, we're at the Versace Mansion, and I don't know it's, it, what y'all know about it, but it's um, got Spanish ar- architecture, so it has a lot of open um, hallways. Like, you're inside, but there's no roof. Um, and that happened to be where they have the little pre-mixer meet and greet before the award show, and then you go out to the award show, and it is outside as well. So you have all these chicks and all these red carpet gowns and poofy hair and layers of makeup, and we're all in, like, 90-degree heat with, like, 150 with humidity. That sounds magnificent and miserable. Oh, yes, it was. I mean, it was gorgeous, but it was so hard to appreciate at the time. You're just trying to absorb everything because you know you just want to go. Um, After they read the MILF nominees and I didn't win, I was like, okay, this bitch has got to get out of this clothes. Like, I'm not fucking playing. (laughs) Because me and the one model decided to go disappear and to go change. And she's like, let's go to the men's restroom. I'm like, we can't go to the men's restroom. She's like, why? That's where I was before we came in here. I was like, why were you in the men's room? She's like, because the AC works in there and it's broken in the women's. I said, oh, let's go to the men's room. (laughs) (laughs) That's the clear clear choice. Right? So we went into the men's room, and it's not like a restroom, a typical restroom. Like, it has a foyer. It has um, a little parlor in it where there's furniture and stuff, and then it has private restrooms it has private rooms inside of that room and then the washroom where you wash your hands is a completely different room so we go in and there's like six or seven guys sitting there chilling we're like hey do you guys care if we come in here they're like no and the guy lifts up this vase and I shit you not the biggest mound of coke I have ever seen is just sitting on this table and he's like you want some and I'm like no I'm good dude he gets no, it's cool. I'm the manager of this place. You can have some. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. I mean, Coke was just everywhere. This was like the fifth time I'd been offered Coke in three days. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> Apparently, this is a Coke town. And he's like, come on, you can do some. He was intoxicated, probably a little high, a lot high. <laughs> so I was like, fuck it. I pulled out a blunt. I was like, I got this. Do y'all care if I light this up oh fuck yeah light that up <laughs> so we sat down and lit the blunt up and that was probably our mistake because you know there's guys coming in and out the restroom and you know we get that blunt yeah, almost you all can't the way coke until it's already up your nose <laughs> <laughs> we get almost the whole entire blunt smoke and then you see the door open and there's this guy that you know works there and he looks straight at me and I've got the blunt in my hand like inches from my mouth and he goes no no you can't be in here there's no girls in the men's restroom no 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 yeah that was great there (laughs) right like he's just freaking out over the fact that there's girls in the men's restroom like, okay, dude. And he's like, no, no drugs. And he points at me holding a blunt. And I point over the mound of coke. And this is what's so ridiculous. There is a vase sitting on top of this mound. It is not hiding this mound of coke. Like, it's sitting on the mound of coke. <laughs> it's not sitting on the table. So it's just kind of teetering on this coke. And I point over to the coke. And I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? I don't see that. Okay, I guess the guy wasn't lying about being the manager. We're out of here. <laughs> and they escorted us to the front door where the red carpet was, so we goofed off and did retarded pictures on the red carpet. <laughs> wow. But, I mean, you know, how many people can say they partied at the Versace mansion and how many people can say they got kicked out the men's room? So, yeah. It's horrible, oh, but probably not many. Right? 
So, so have you ever been kicked out of a men's restroom? Um, I've never been kicked out of a men's restroom, but I have been kicked out of a strip club. In Flint. <laughs> How do you get kicked out of a strip club? What were you doing? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I'm I'm blaming the waitress at the strip club. She. She she fed us like thirty shots, and then I ended up in the stripper's boobies. So it it happens. Yeah, it does. <laughs> All right, but I want to point out real quickly <laughs> that the only person that wanted us out of the club was the club owner because they were upset with the fact that I was getting to sit there and watch my wife just all up in some titties, all right? And that pissed him off because it wasn't his wife. So that dude can suck my fucking hairy white dick. That's all I got to say. You were having far too good of a time, and he Fuck he yeah. wasn't. He couldn't top it. it. It was a good time in Flint, Michigan. <laughs> Shout out to Big Will. That's awesome. I've only ever been to one strip club, and it was for my 21st birthday, because it was on a Sunday. It was the only thing open after 10. I've never been to a strip club unless I was doing business. There's a lot of people in the 420 community that want to meet there to do, like, official stuff, and it's like, dude. That's really? I, I, <laughs> Dead serious. I cannot tell you how many meetings I've had at the Diamond Cabaret. It almost feels a little cliche. No, like big oh money, like some of the, yeah, some of the better money I've made in the entertainment industry in my life has happened at the Diamond Cabaret. There's probably just something about naked women that loosens people up, you know? No, it's the ability it to be able idea. to handle business. Like, you can't go to the Waffle House and, and talk about porn slut shit or, or talk about pot. You can't go to McDonald's and talk about banging six dudes in your next show. Well, you can, Colorado, you can, but... <laughs> Colorado? Oh, oh, no, all that goes in Colorado. But, yeah, not um, in South Dakota. Anyway, yeah, anyway. not in Ohio either. Okay, somebody's calling the cops. <laughs> so you're you're in Ohio, Zora? Yeah. You live in Ohio? I'm in Ohio. Right? Okay, because, yeah, I just moved here. Yeah, it sucks. Sorry. <laughs> oh, no, I like it here so far. That's because you've only been here for a hot minute. Give it time. You'll be all right. <laughs> he gets to live at Hannibal Mansion, so. Look, I mean, Cincinnati isn't as bad as Dayton. I'll be honest. Every stereotype that you have ever heard about any fucking race or culture or anything like that, they exist here in Dayton, and they are all segregated and subdivided. Oh. What do you got oh, you're serious? only up in Dayton? Yeah, the East End, you got a bunch of fucking meth head heroin addicts. They're all a bunch of little white people that are addicted to meth and heroin. The West well, Side, I mean, that's where the homies are. If you're ever in Sharonville, come smoke a blunt. <laughs> Dude, I don't have a car right now. Excuse I'm in the you. same boat. <laughs> well, Us for the too, most the part, it don't bother off. me too much. You know, if I got to go out of town, I'm renting a car anyhow. I would, Even if I owned a car, I wouldn't drive it out of town. Uh, so I have another question for you. Um, uh, you were saying that, you know, you get uh, uh, dudes to pay you to send you stuff, yada, yada, or to watch you do things, um, et cetera, et cetera. What's the strangest request that you have fulfilled, and how much was that request worth? That is a good one. Okay, the strangest request? Dude, I mean, it was just, it was kind of strange and nasty. Um, somebody wanted to buy my toe jam. Um, yeah, that's what I said when he asked me if I was willing to sell my toe jam. And I was like, yeah, oh, okay, I'm not entirely sure how to collect toe jam. I really yeah, don't. That was <laughs> I really don't make toe jam. You know what I'm saying? I clean my feet. I change my socks. Like, I don't know. I wear size 16 shoes. I don't. But, the, you know, the way that I looked at it is I figured I could just scrape the shit out from underneath my toenails and put in a container and he would, you know, decide that it was jam, you know, whatever. I I don't know what he was going to do with it. I didn't really want to ask. That's just, <laughs> you know, it's a little bit TMI. I, I didn't want to know. Um, do you think but he I took it before to, he ate it? I don't know. I, I think it would go away, wouldn't it? It's just fucking skin cells and shit. I, I mean, I don't even know. 
dude, when I went to go collect it, when I first started collecting it, it took me two weeks to collect a little two ounce container of it. Um, I, I threw all kinds of extra little shit in there. I ain't even lying. <laughs> um, but when I collected it, apparently it wasn't dark enough for him. And when he's seen it, he goes, that's not really dark. Like, are you sure it's toe jam? I'm like, do you see the color of my skin? Like, I'm a really white bitch. Like, I'm, like, pasty white. Like, I dye my hair black, and I look like Casper kind of white. Um, And he's like, well, I didn't know toe jam was skin color. I'm like, go Google that shit, man. It's dead skin cells. I don't know how you thought a white girl was going to give you black toe jam. But he wanted me, he was willing to pay me an extra $30 if I would go two weeks without washing my feet to see if my toes would make black jam. No, I did not take that because that's just gross. Now, how do you offer? It's not even worth it. Thirty dollars, maybe. Yeah, thirty bucks, bullshit. Five hundred, maybe. You're talking two weeks of not washing my feet. Mm. You know that's going to cost probably more than it would to fuck me in my ass. (laughs) (laughs) I, I I honestly think that that I I would agree with that on my level too. Um, now, the the funniest thing I ever got paid, okay, I was in a live chat show, and we were just bullshit, and, and I thought somebody had dared me to ride the broom like a hobby horse, and he was talking about a different type of horse, but it gave the other guy in the room an idea, and he's like, if I give you $50, would you pretend that that broom is a hobby horse and, and ride it around the room and say yeehaw? And I was in a silly mood, and I was like, yeah, what the fuck ever. Why not, right? So I start doing it, and other guy's like, hey, if I give you 50 bucks, will you pull off your top and say yeehaw while you smack your ass? Well, fuck yeah. By the end of this thing, like, 10 minutes had gone by, and after, you know, the site took all their major money, my cut was still 80 bucks. And all I did was get topless and ride around a broom spanking my own ass going, yeehaw. I'll do that. I'm in the wrong way. Wow. That's, like, that's the easiest job ever. Right? That's like, it's not only is it easy, but it's fucking funny. It's like, fuck, you want to pay me to do this? Fuck yeah. Wait, wait, so, wait, what? Wait, real quick. Real quick. I will say right now if anybody wants to throw $100 into the NFGR PayPal, that's NFGR42 at gmail.com, I will turn on the fucking video right now on this goddamn live feed. Go grab a fucking broom, take my fucking top off, and fucking <laughs> and be smacking my ass talking about, yeehaw! Somebody fucking send me $100 right now. I'll do it. I don't give a fuck. Does it have to be a right now thing, or can I promote it on Facebook and make a later video? <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah fuck. You, you give me $100, I'll do that. I don't give a fuck. $100, you'd, be surprised. <laughs> you'd be surprised how many people are willing to pay you to do humiliating things. <laughs> I'm I'm kind of wondering what I could, what what else I could get Factor to do for 100 bucks on, on there. You know, you, you know, Factor, you could just make it a, a benefit for the radio show. Create an event and see how much money you can raise. Leading up. Unknown Factor live on Chatterbait. <laughs> Wait, you should make, wait, 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 wait. If you're going to do this right, you got to do it right. First of all, you got to advertise on Facebook and Twitter and get fan interaction by asking them to pick stunts for you to do or how much they would pay you to do something. And then you do a YouTube series of you doing the things that all your fans are paying you to do. Dude, you're going to have to do this. It was your idea. <laughs> Fuck. I really think I put my foot in my mouth. So, humanity, you're going to take my spot on this, right? This is your goddamn show, not mine. Get back to it. <laughs> this could definitely be a good side income. Pimp unknown factor out. I'm thinking about sending you the $100. <laughs> That's why I asked if the offer expired. Wait, 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 wait. It, you should add into the $100 that rather than him just being topless and saying yeehaw, he should have to like do one of those dirty man lick his nipple and pretend like, you know, he's enjoying licking his own nipple. I agree. <laughs> you oh, know how they stick a finger in the mouth, mouth and pull it around the nipple? Yeah, I ain't... 
like I, I can't get my nipple to my mouth, Zora. Sorry. Well, just stick a finger in your mouth and then stick it on your nipple. Can I? Lick you know, my that's wife's what all the little camera? titty girls do. Like that? <laughs> like, like that? Exactly like that. <laughs> I, uh, exactly. Pull it out again. Like uh -uh. Pull it out again. You had it out a minute ago. Pull it out again. If I'm pulling out my titties, there's no reason that you need to be licking your finger. Yeah, there is, because I'm a webby nipple. <laughs> it's a joint effort. <laughs> you like, can just wait, wait, it. she pulled out his nipples so he'd have nipples to lick, and then he decided that he was just going to cram two eyes to get two ideas together and lick his finger and <laughs> yes. touch her nipple with his finger. Yeah. Look, That's I'm just trying to, to lick your I'm just trying to put her nipple in my mouth. Yeah, with y'all, right. with y'all. I will right, well, do it either way, whatever. Just Get out of here, <laughs> So, um Zora, let's take this to a darker note. <laughs> um have you had any uh have you had ever had any fans that have gotten too Fanny, like, have you ever had any stalker situations or, you know, had to chase um, anybody off your property with a gun because, you know, they came to your house looking for <laughs> your uh, uh, persona? Most people have the common sense not to fuck with the crazy white girl. Um, but just in case, I let it known to people, like, I'm always carrying a weapon and I'm not afraid to use it. Like, honestly, if you make me use my weapon... You better hope I call the cops for you because you're going to need them and probably an ambulance, too. Um, I have pictures of, like, weapons, things like that, that my fans have seen. Whenever I get a new blade, and that's what I call it, I welcome my blade to the family. I put it on Twitter. I make sure people know. <laughs> Most of the time, that's enough to keep people away. But for those that aren't, I mean, you never know what's going to come out of my mouth. I'm pretty bold, loud. People tend to, like, you know, they don't really like to fuck with me. <laughs> Every great. once in a while, somebody feels froggy, and they normally get told off. But for the most part, I know how to handle stalkers. Um, you just don't give them any attention whatsoever. Zora? Like, you just ignore them and go about uh, your business. I love the fact that you called it your blade, because that's what I call my <laughs> blades. They're my blades. Right? Yeah, I, I have so several. I, yeah, as a horrorcore artist and one that definitely indulges in the wicked shit. Yeah, I, I definitely appreciate that. So I just that, that's awesome. So I love it. Yeah. I gave my son his first blade, and his first blade was the first one that I got. So he got the first one that I got. Oh. I'm super excited about that. So I mean, it's not just something my fans know; like my family knows. Um. All of my kids have been taught how to use a blade. Every single one of my kids have been taught to use my taser. Um, we don't live in a safe area, our generation, our world, or any of that stuff anymore. So I would rather them be prepared and not have to use it than need it and not have it. Sounds to me like you're raising some badasses. Oh, yeah. I feel sorry for people that come up against my kids. It's not a fair fight. <laughs> Like, seriously, I teach my kids to cut the Achilles heel so that they can run. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> stuff like that, stuff like that is really good to know, you know, in oh. case of, especially with the rise on human sex trafficking. Oh, yeah, and Ohio I mean, has the capital of the world for sex tra sex slavery. Detroit, really? Ohio. Yep. That's the sex slavery capital of the world, and that's why... A lot of times I haven't went into a lot of porn because my issue with a lot of porn companies is that, you know, they'll pay for your airfare there and they'll pay for your airfare back, but they don't like to give you the return ticket when you leave. And I kind of have a problem with that because I don't know you from Joe Blow. I have no way to verify that you're legit. And I don't have money to just buy a $900 plane ticket because I flew out to Vegas or Colorado or, you know, Cali to get home because you happen to be some sort of sex slave trade person and try to kidnap me or whatever. Would, would but, you be able I to mean, put that in your contract, though? Um, to be honest, um, I don't know, unless you're signed by an agent, that you get a contract. Generally, typically, porn models get contracts through their agents. When you work with a company, it's normally per film. And then they fly you out and they'll fly you back. They try to do a couple films at the same time. But because models change their minds, they don't like to do the return ticket at the time that they fly you out. Like, they want to give you, 
let's say you go out there and you want to make one film, and then let's say another chick on another film doesn't show up, and they've got a spot for you, but it's going to put you out there another two days. Well, now they've got to change your return flight home because they issued a ticket to begin with. That makes sense. So you think that they might be able to get a deal with the airline or something, though? I, I don't think so, to be honest. I don't know any legitimate, normal corporate industry that actually will cut people that work in the adult industry any slack like i mean it's really hard we lost our our camming site lost two different bank accounts because you know they we got payments from chatterbait and they didn't want to work with adult services so they just closed our account really i had no idea that there was even that kind of an issue because everybody likes to get paid so you wouldn't think that there'd be any issue when it comes to just transferring money I mean, it's if the, the airlines are getting issue. paid for these tickets. But it's the same issue when you go into other cash industry businesses, like um, the marijuana companies that are sprouting up. Yes. A lot of them have a difficult yes. time getting financial institutions to work with them because you're looking at a yeah. cash industry, and it's a good way for people to launder or hide money. And because of well, that, nobody wants to touch it. They don't care how legit you are. There's a chance somebody isn't legit, and they don't want to go down with you. That sucks. Well, one thing a lot of people don't realize is that uh, porn and sex toys are like weed. They're just legal in a lot more areas. But, they're I mean, porn isn't legal in a lot of cities, municipalities. Like, um, I mean, you know, there's I mean, there's places in the world, in, in the United States, that uh, uh, sodomy and oral sex aren't legal. You know what oh, I mean? Oh, um, yeah. If you go back to the books, I mean, the only way you're allowed to have sex in Ohio is a missionary position. There's a lot of outdated laws, but technically, legally, there is only three places that you can shoot professional pornography, and that is New York, Florida, and California. Everything else has to be amateur, and they have a legal definition of the difference between professional or amateur. And it's basically just the number of people that are going to be on the set when you're shooting. Oh, it doesn't have anything I mean, to do with pay? No, there's, I mean, there's other little differences, but the majority, the biggest difference is it's a matter of how many people you have on the set that determines whether it's professional or amateur pornography. But there are other little things, and that's, that's not the only one. That's just the big one that makes the definition between professional or amateur pornography. That's why you can have these people doing mini vids and stuff like that, and they can shoot that anywhere because it's amateur home video. That's not illegal to shoot. But it's illegal to shoot porn, but that's not classified as pornography. It's not professional pornography. Yeah. I knew that that stuff like that was not very well thought of in other – because, like, China, sex toys are illegal. That's actually how come, even though they're produced there, that's why the – the heads on them are in the shapes of, like, smiley faces and bunnies. I don't know if you knew that about dildos or not. But no, that's I why. Yeah. It's because it's illegal to have a sex toy in China, so that way they can be written off as novelty items. But I guess well, I never it, thought about... It works the same way in the United States. That it, it, the, the same loopholes and laws apply where, um, you know, adult stores or lingerie stores will sell vibrators and they, they can't resemble an actual anything at all. That's why they just look like a a tapered rod. Yeah, and then they call it a massager. They don't call it a vibrator. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there's loopholes to everything, just like you'll find out that most adult businesses that have LLCs or that are founded, they're not founded where they're at. Like, their licensing is in a completely different state But because there's a couple states that have more lax obscenity laws. So if they found their company in that state, then they have to abide by the laws in that state, not necessarily where they're at. If that makes sense. Mm-hmm. It does make sense. So, I mean, there's loopholes, but the whole thing is is that we shouldn't have to have all these loopholes. The fact that we live in the day and time that we do when you can have movies like Fifty Shades of Grey and songs like S&M, but we're still shunning and slut-shaming the adult industry. Amen. That that, that is the real truth right there, too, because stuff like Rihanna's song S&M, like you said, you had to have that conversation because your kids were listening to it. Those things are straight out in everybody's faces and the adult industry kind of focuses on what people do by themselves yeah and I mean, other- 
it, it's not just that. I, to me, the whole slut shaming thing. Like, I recently got into it. Somebody on my Facebook page because they couldn't make a legitimate political argument with me. So, you know, generally when people don't have the intelligence to make a logical argument, they go to one of a couple things. They'll talk about your grammar and how you're not spelling things correctly. Or they will talk about your mama and start calling you names. Or they will go troll your page and try to find stuff that proves you're a horrible person. So, you know, this guy can't do the argument. He tries the whole spell check thing. He tries the whole I'm a horrible person. Then he starts posting stuff from where I got nominated for an ex-biz award. And started talking about how I was a horrible mother and did my kids see this? And do they know that their mommy works in porn? Now, granted, the flyer that he has up there, I am dressed as Harley Quinn. I am fully clothed. It is Facebook. And it says nominated for a CAM award. And this motherfucker is going on and on about me being a porn star and doing pornography. Now, I've done pretty much mostly solo work so far. So the only person I've had sex with is me. (laughs) And for somebody to call me a porn star makes me go, oh, yeah, you're an ignorant son of a bitch. Yes, you are. But the fact that I get things like that simply because of what I do for a living when I took a bunch of negative shit that happened in my life changed my life around turned it into a positive and because I don't think like everybody else I turned that into a skill that I have made into a career and built all on my own and for someone that is that ignorant not educated to look down on me I mean honestly we're at the point in time in this world that I would like to see all those things change because most of the people that are in the adult industry are there because, well, I would say a good 80% of them had something traumatic happen in their past life or they were sexually suppressed in their past that has led them to that life and they've turned it into a positive. And the fact that the rest of the world looks at that as a negative is like, oh, no, you don't see the whole picture. If that makes sense. I know I kind of went on a rant. No, that that makes sense. Oh, my mind is on blank. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make everybody just go quiet and say. Oh, uh, no, no. It's all good. <laughs> no, it's not a bad thing. It just means that I'm in, like, like my thoughts are just going too fast. <laughs> um, oh, well, good. we've been on air for an hour and a half now. I think we've had a... Uh, a pretty awesome show. I think you've been a, a pretty great guest. Uh, Shell Shell, Factor, uh, Guardian Angel, do you have any last questions for Zora? No. Not that I can think of right off the top of my head. It was really awesome getting to talk to you, though. I will yeah, say it that. Was, it was really awesome. I appreciate you guys having me on. Yeah, absolutely. No, you're you're great. Um, uh, yeah. Um, wait. Like wait. I said, it sounds like we're in hey, the same area. Hey, 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 fucker. Oh wait, we're not off air yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bro, I worry about you sometimes. I love you, but I worry about you. I'm just saying. I, that's besides the point. I've been up since seven a.m. Man. Oh, I do that shit all the time. Humanity, you don't fucking feed me. You don't fucking. <laughs> Story about wait, 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 wait. Didn't that, didn't that youngin over there said he was 24? Come on. It's For only real, bro, I got like a decade on you. A decade. Hey, a fucking hey, Zora, decade. Give, uh, give us one more, uh, give us one more, uh, um, uh, plug, uh, all your, where, where can <laughs> we find <laughs> you on uh, Twitter, <laughs> Facebook? Stop! I'm, Zora, I'm gonna kick his ass. Actor. I'm gonna kick his ass, Zora. Because Dude, you should you should spit it out because it's not yours and it doesn't belong to you. <laughs> you should spit it out because it's not yours and it doesn't belong yeah. to you. Come on, that's you what she heard did that earlier, joke? but that's besides the point. But again, uh, like I said, this has been a hell of an interview. So I've enjoyed sitting here and listening to all y'all chat. But humanity, I thought we'd said something on the last episode that we were going to start doing on this show. Oh, we put this bitch in the box. That was rude as fuck. I'm tired as fuck. <laughs> we gonna put this bitch in a box? God damn, humanity! It's a dark segment. 
Cause no, we're not. Watch but out. we said wait, we were going to do the night. Wait, wait, Look. wait. He better watch out because he lives in Cincinnati. It's a 45-minute drive, and I know people in Cincinnati, and I got paddles. That's so do I. <laughs> I'm not trying to make the love connection. I already got Lando saying he's in love with you, Zora. All right. Wait, but, we're talking about beating each other, and you over there talking about love. Yeah, have yeah, you met humanity? That's his thing. Not, if you're not with other doms. <laughs> I'm that talking about you two beating all. one another. I'm not talking about me getting in the middle of this. I'm talking about you and Zora. Yeah, you haven't figured it out yet, so apparently you're not that big of a dom because he's already figured out I'm dom. Oh, dom, okay, no. <laughs> Sorry, no, I don't do the yeah, whole dom thing. I, I don't know, I guess, te- well, uh, I guess. I see, I- honestly, honestly, I'm a switch, okay, but there are very, very, very few men I let dominate me. They got to be, like, this tall to ride the ride, and, like, 98% of men just don't measure up. All right. Well, here's forward. the thing right now. I don't know about humanity. You can try and measure him up later, but for the time, it's not going to be dark humanity. We said we were going to do the nice version. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. But Zora, yeah, I got a box for you. I'm going to ship you off. But see, this isn't the no fucks given hour. So you get that plush treatment. I'm going to ship you off to this mm-hmm. island. It's got everything you could ever need in it, man. House, pool, tennis court, basketball pool, fucking full size, Olympic swimming pool. You know, everything you ever fucking need. Weed, beer. Every all kind of fucking food. If you're vegan, I left the meat. I left the meat out. If you're not, I gave you fucking steaks galore. All right, whatever. Fucking. So you set up, right? TVs, big screen, game systems. But I didn't leave you no kind of DVDs or games or CDs to use in all these electronic equipment I gave you. You know? Because um, I'm a bit of um, a dick. Um, yeah? that's perfectly all right for me. Because first of all, I'm not going to use any of those electronics. And second of all, what I'm probably going to do is take that massive amount of pot, bake them into some brownies. I'm going to eat a bunch of them, get high as fuck, and I'm going to stare at a white wall. And I shit you not, that's going to entertain me for like 12 hours. All right. Well, keep in mind, Zora, you're stuck here for the rest of your life. All right? Okay. All right. Do I get this a is... pet? Can I go like, adopt just, some little lost animals? get to some things. Hold on. Don't be rushing shit. Fuck it. <laughs> Trying to get the finger in when I'm just trying to work the click. God damn. Hold on, Zora. Jesus. <laughs> Fuck. Jen, Man. I like to get to the orgasm part, damn it. We'll get to that, all right? That's the final question. But for the first question, humanity, what should we offer her up? A pet. No, he instantly went with what you wanted, Zora. Apparently, this motherfucker's already getting submissive towards you. So what pet you want? This is the, this is the I want... Version. I want a little puppy dog, because I love little puppy dogs. I need a more specific answer. Okay, how about a chug? I, oh, I have no idea what that is, but a it chug. works. A chug. It's a chihuahua, a chihuahua and a pug. pug. Oh, a, yes. pu- a chug? A it's called a chug. <laughs> a chihuahua it's pug a mix. a chihuahua pug. All right. So you've got a chihuahua Not pug a chihuahua. mix. You've got a little companionship. <laughs> chihuahua. All right. As far as right. animal nature. So let's let's go. I want to get into more of your tastes as far as entertainment, though, Zora. So as a musician, I want to know, what three CDs would you take to this island with you? Now, mind you, these are the only three CDs you're going to have ever again. Okay. Okay, so I need ever some again. yellow. I need some yellow wolf because um, he makes me so fucking hot and I just like want to masturbate to his voice all the time. Um, and then I need some pink for when I'm in that man hating mood. Um, let's see the third one. We got to go with some Ed Sharon cause I'll tell you what, he's got some really good songs. No idea who that last I'm one is, that. but I'll allow it. You don't know who Ed Sharon is? Have no. you not seen Lord of the Rings? Of the the Shop Shop Shop? Yeah, there's that. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's um, Like Fire. Yeah, that's like my favorite one. That's from the Hobbit movie, though. Oh, wait, so he he's a fucking orchestra instructor. <laughs> no. No, he's a singer. He's a singer. He just he did the theme song in the Hobbit movie. It's got words to it. 
how are you acting how, like I paid that much attention to the rate? Like that's the credit we're giving him. I didn't. Yeah, for real. <laughs> first off, I did not. One guy from the Hobbit movie. Not who the, the fuck the paid that much attention to the Hobbit movie? Song. Like, first off, it's been a while. Second off, it wasn't that good to begin with. I'm just saying. Like, I don't even think we finished the fucking series because Jesus Christ. But- it's not the original Hobbit. I never watched the second Hobbit, but this <clears throat> song is fucking amazing. I listen to the song because he sings it, not because of the movie. All right, so the, so... I guarantee you've heard some of his music. There's no way you've escaped. His, his music is playing everywhere. You right? would be amazed, Jenica. I'm the unknown factor. I escape all kind of things. But, Wait, like I, I said, could like an an escape this I, island. I could see you escaping Yellow Wolf because, like, nobody knows who the fuck that is when I say it. Who doesn't know who Yellow Wolf is? I run a fucking underground rap station. You think I don't know who the fuck Yellow Wolf is? Right? Hey, look, look. We're getting off track. God damn it. Get back in your fucking island. Stop fucking around Sorry. so we're trying to distract everybody. Jenica, what does she need next? Hmm. A towel. Yeah, what? I definitely need towels. I'm a squirter. She's right. I need towels. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I love the like, towels have. For bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've never, Jenica, I've I've never played this game before. before. <laughs> what I guess next a towel. And never well, get hey. your towel, you know. Always, always that's remember exactly that it. fucking. That's, that's how it is, man. If you've watched or read versus you, if you've watched or read uh, Guardians or uh, fuck, I about said Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, then you know yeah. you should always remember your towel. All right. So, yeah. babe, offer her something else that's a more normal question since Angel's like, what the fuck are we talking about? I'm giving towels. <laughs> but you do get a towel. Just so it, that, That's a freebie. Yeah. It's like the hey, but Wait, 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 wait. No. We got to make this que- We got to make this I an option question, though, towel. humanity. Okay. So, wait, I've got what, what cartoon do you want on your towel? Cartoon on my towel? Wait, I'm going to be squirting on this towel. So, um, cartoon. <laughs> Shit, fuck. Hey, look, um, you could go with some hentai if you wanted. I didn't specify that this towel had to be something you could realistically get. I'm going to special order this shit for you, Zora. <laughs> look, look, let me put it this way, okay? Um, my kids do that anime, hentai, magma. Yeah, I stay away from that. I was forced to watch it for a while. I know one character in Yasha and Dragon Ball Z people, but no. Um, we're going to go with, fuck it, let's go with Care Bears. I'm going to come on some Care Bears. Ooh, make it Sunshine Bear. I'm going to come on Sunshine Bear. There we go. That's adorable. <laughs> Give the next option. Um... Okay, what three, so what you're, three, you're, you've got you're your towel and everything on, now. Uh, what three movies? You're doing would you your take? thing on Sunshine Bear, and um, you okay. can you can uh, uh, pick any 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 toy that you can order online. Hey, wait, dickhead! Hey, hey, what? Come on, uh, am I doing it wrong again? Stop! I'm gonna kick your ass, bro. I was trying to let the wife <laughs> ask one, and you just interrupted oh, and trying to jump to the last okay, fucking go. question, which is fine. We'll get to the last question, bro. That can be your question. But let my wife ask a question. God damn, rude-ass humanity. What three movies would you take, or or cartoons, whatever you like? Hmm. Dude, I don't really watch movies or cartoons. Can we do some TV series? Yeah. Yeah, that works. Okay. I need, like, mm, let's go with some NCIS. And then I need Bones. And then let's do Criminal Minds. Fucking murder yeah, porn. Yeah, can dice you and get away with it. Like, there is not going to be a body for them to find. Just saying. No law and order of for you? Um, it's kind of old and outdated. And, I mean, honestly, you know, you can only watch so many fucking rapes cases before you're like, okay, can we just cut their dicks off and be done with it? I have seen every single episode of SVU. I I have as well. And, I have, there's... and the criminal intent and NCIS and yep. the LA NCIS and CSI, CSI Miami, CSI Los Angeles, like you name it, I've seen it. Bull. All right. Yeah. If it's so a crime you... drama, it's I my so... body. 
I actually so want to start another discussion, but South Park has already done the whole uh, murder, uh, murder porn episode, so you can uh, refer to South Park if you want to hear more about that. We won't go, go into it over here on Three Chicks, One Prick. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Did you know Southern Fried Homicide is a real TV show? That's weird. Well, shut That's the serious. fuck! You mean the ask the last question? What the fuck? Oh yeah, what sex toy are you bringing to the island? Um, I kind of need two, so we're gonna say that the vibrator is an attachment of the fuck machine, cause yeah, I need you both. get one. Yeah, no, but wait, 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 I gotta machine. step in here, because I'm pretty sure you can go buy a fuck machine that's already got a dildo with it, right, Zora? Yes, they come with, fuck machines come with normally anywhere from one to ten different attachments, so, yeah, I can get a vibrator attachment and a dildo attachment, I'm not asking for the deluxe model. Okay, that's still one, you can have the de <laughs> deluxe model as yeah. long as it's one, it can be as nice that's as you it. want. Yeah. Yeah, Armed and I want gold. the. I don't care. Factors pay for it. The, I want the elite deluxe fuck machine. Fuck those stupid simians who wants to ride and do the work. I'd rather lay back and just get fucked. Funner. I know someone just like that. <laughs> let let yeah, me talk. Yeah, we don't you. need I... to talk about me, Factor. No, no. Let me <laughs> talk about that. I, put, I put a strap on one secret. time. I put a strap on on one time and fucked a chick with it. And let me tell you, afterwards, the first thing I did was call my boss and tell him I have a new respect for men. It is so fucking hard <laughs> to sit there and fuck somebody. And then when you get done, your thighs burn, the tops burn, your butt <laughs> burns. You're like, fuck, Thank why the hell did I want to have sex? Well, first Thank off, you. real quick, I don't that know. terrible. For me personally, it's always worth the effort. I, I want to point that out, like always in any circumstance, right? And and as far as like fucking feeling the burn of it, fuck off. That's the greatest workout in the history of humanity, because it's the only workout that when I'm done with it, one, I've accomplished something I really wanted to. Mmm, that felt good, right? And two, like I enjoyed the fuck out of it. You can't fucking make me go run a mile and fucking after that mile be like, oh yeah, that was fun. I'm dead, but that was fun. No, I'm gonna be like, I'm fucking dead. That was bullshit. I don't want to do it again. <laughs> That's why I said I have new respect for men because I would much rather just lay back and have my orgasm. I mean, not that I'm a dead fish and I'm not gonna do anything, but I sure as fuck don't want to do the pumping action. <laughs> with her yeah i mean because those muscles get strong for really no other reason but to do that again you know what i mean it's not like we can we can go i mean like i guess we could lift stuff I, but wait 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 wait, wait. no humanity see this is where i have to argue with you the actual act of lando sex said he'd be lando said he hey lando wants to be your puppy zora just so you know um who is lando Oh, uh, just a regular listener over here at No Fucks Given Radio. Shout out to Lando, always supporting that cult shit, LSB. Um, but he was the original owner of the Millennium Falcon before he uh, lost it to Han Solo. In a <laughs> he also was the original owner of the uh, Millennium Falcon. I forgot that. Lando, I don't know if he ever got that back, man, but you should really talk to Han. But that's a different story altogether. All right. But no, my point was, dude, look, as far as what you do and the what you do in the exercise of like having sex, are you serious? That'll give you a better punch, dude. Just know how to use your legs to fucking cause more momentum behind your fist. You know? I haven't punched anybody in a while. I've been on probation the last couple of years. Well, I ain't either, but you always gotta be prepped for violence, bro. And I'm telling you, sex will prep you better for violence than almost anything besides just violence. <laughs> While y'all are over there getting violent, I'm going to hang out over here on my private island and order me up some Chippendales, if that's all right. <laughs> Sorry, Zora. It's that unknown. That's why I don't host this show. I'm the fucking violent one. I can't help it. Oh, well, that's where I was expecting humanity to actually do that, babe. I was expecting him to be like, okay, Factor, now you shut the fuck up, we're done, and then wrap up the show, but he didn't say anything. Well, the last time I tried to wrap up the show, I got in trouble, 
so <laughs> um, <laughs> I was gonna wait for you to do it. But, but yes, we're done uh, now. Dora, it was it was awesome having you. We you drop your uh, where we can find you and where we can follow you and where we can buy from you uh, one more time for us. Oakley, Doakley. Okay, basically, here's the rundown, people. Follow me on Twitter. You can get all my information there. It's Zora underscore Stone. Zora is spelled Z-O-R-A. Um, and pretty much I post all my links there, everything else. Just scroll down my page. You'll find what you're looking for. Bet. All righty. Uh, you angel, any little black marks? <laughs> Not at all. I'm going to be... I'm putting this up on my website as well, so I hope that I hope that we, we gain you some new followers. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. This this kind of helps your your position out too. Helps spread the word a little bit. Everything that I thought when I was stalking you earlier was good stuff. So. And what's that website, Je- or what's that website, Guardian Angel? RIPSoldiersMusic.com. And where can and we it, find it'll you? Help. It'll have all the links back up to No Fucks Given Radio, too. Yeah. And where can we find you on social media, Guardian Angel? Oh, if you look up R.I.P. Soldiers Music on Google, all that stuff is up there. So if you look up R.I.P. Soldiers Music on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you'll be able to find me. No issues there. Be accessible. Awesome, awesome. And the box was Factor's last remark. Anything from you, Shell Shell? Nope, I'm just uh, finishing stuffing my face with pizza. All right. Well, don't forget to like Three Chicks, No pr- uh, Three Chicks, Fun Prick. On you no said Fuck No Given Prick. Radio. Three Chicks, No Prick. <laughs> Actually, I kind of like that one a little bit better, Humanity. Maybe we should get rid of you and just hire Zora as a host. That's besides the point, though. <laughs> Wait, uh, three, wait, wait. I guess, I guess we know. I was going to say, I guess we lie. Uh, you're dumb now, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Very angry about that no prick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, that's not how I want to end this show. Fuck you, Laura. <laughs> hey, but look, but look, I don't give a fuck, humanity, because this is no fucks given. And I'll tell you, just like the Devil's Dirty Pawn Shop, we offer everything. And this is the Devil's Dirty Pawn Shop. Yeah. Did I really just fuck that up that goddamn bad? Like, I had it going so smooth. And then I fucked up, bro. But whatever. I don't give a shit, humanity. Stop interrupting me. This is the Devil's Dirty Pawn Shop by versus humanity. Have a good night, y'all. Except these Facebook Live fuckers. These Facebook Live fuckers can now, still hear us. Now Lando, <laughs> now Lando can go watch this live feed and go 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 watch go the uh, look at Zora's Twitter and get himself good good get himself a good hand job. I think that's what he's looking forward to doing. It's been a hell of an interview and hell of a show. We'll see you fuckers back for Talk Snuff with Team Snuff, yeah. Live from the Insane Assassination Tour. Tuesday.